scooter design has been well defined for many years now, and the tuning fork company towed the category line when setting up the Smax. A fairly full front fairing shunts the wind aside to protect the rider's legs, and the windshield extends that protection to the rider's chest. The step-through frame makes for easy mounting and dismounting, and serves as something of a light cargo deck to supplement the 8-gallon underseat storage for grocery-getting missions. Alternately, the storage compartment will hold a full-face helmet plus a fistful of possibles. Last year, passenger comfort got a boost over the previous year's model with increased padding in the pillion seat, and new LED marker lights on the front fairing improve safety by increasing front-on visibility. At 79.9 inches long and 28.1 inches wide, the Smax falls within accepted norms for scooter size, but the 31.3 inch seat height coupled with the width can make it difficult for shorter riders to find the ground with both feet. Even though the company claims to provide plenty of foot space, taller riders will likely feel a bit bound up behind the fairing, and the offset for the pillion prevents the rider from just scooting back a bit for more legroom. Too little legroom for tall riders, and too wide for really short ones. I feel like the Smax will only really fit a small percentage of the market Yamaha is trying to reach. The telescopic fork front end is set with 26 degrees of rake, leaving us with 3.2 inches of trail for nimble parking lot maneuvers. A coil over monoshock lays horizontally in the guts of